sign. These bodies of water are a really great place to look for reptiles and amphibians. They uh, congregate around bodies of water, especially amphibians, because amphibians rely 100% on water to reproduce. So I just saw a frog right there. Didn't catch him, but I saw him. So this All right, guys, I don't know if y'all can see this, but the mosquitoes are really bad out here. Oh my goodness. Um, there's a lot of residual water, and uh, we're gonna keep looking, see what else we can find. All right, so today I want to show you all the Asian carp. This is one of the larger freshwater species. It's an introduced species here in Florida. And they're really similar to the koi goldfish. Wow. Look at that. And a lot of times they put them in ponds for algae control. As you walk up here, you'll be able to get a good look at them. An animal that exhibits white splotching amidst its normal coloration is called a calico or a piebald. Now a piebald deer is truly rare. Less than 1% of the deer population exhibit this recessive trait. Even with his differences you can see he still fits in just fine with his family right here. Piebaldism is not to be confused with albinoism. Albinoism is the lack of all pigment. So generally those deer with albinoism would exhibit an all white body with reddish eyes and lightly colored hoofs. So that's what makes these so special. It's truly a rare trait and could even be taken as an omen. Like I said before, it's a sign. Today's episode is just to show you you don't have to go on a long journey just to find some great wildlife or the great outdoors in general. So. Just check your backyard or right around the block. Thanks for watching. Press that subscribe button. Definitely like this episode. Go back and check out some of our previous episodes. Comment and share this video. And we appreciate your time for watching.